Good morning, everybody. Boy, Mike and Big Mama, you guys are here early. I'm excited about this journal. Let me see what y'all have been saying. Um, your dad. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There we go. Turn it down. Um, that old guy ate bacon and eggs every day. <laughs> Good morning, Mimi. I have got, um, I have got so many new subscribers, um, and it's from uh, Julie, Camellia Craft Designs, coming in, and, well, actually mentioning me on her channel, and, um, yeah, it was wonderful to see. So we'll see how many can make it to the live today. So if you are new here, especially if you are one of the folks who came from the um, Camellia Craft Designs, welcome. You are so welcome here. We, we love new people and new viewers. Um, potatoes and carrots, layers, and you put the lid on it and just simmered. And cabbage. Oh, that sounds good. Bubbles and squeaks. That sounds good. Hi, Luis. Um, so welcome to all the new folks. And of course, to you diehard fans, um, welcome as well. <laughs> um, let's kind of get started. I want to do, I got out a bunch of stencils and I got some rice paper out. Um, I should probably get some napkins too. I want to just start decorating some of the more plain pages. Um, don't have good patience. So let's go through the signatures. How are you guys this morning? Everybody doing well? Let me put this mouse out of the way before it kicks me out again. Man, I'm hungry this morning. Going to get you another cup of coffee. Okay, so here is the first page. I don't know, does that need something on it? Do we need a butterfly? Do we need a bird? Do we need something else? You guys tell me if we need something else on there. This is coming up just a little bit. So I'm going to put a little blue on there. Glue that down. We'll probably go through this another few times. You know, I was thinking if um, for some reason this journal cover isn't big enough, I can always make a new one. I've got plenty of fabric. I can make um, a bigger one. So I'm not going to worry about the cover fitting. All right. All right, I love this. I was thinking, now this could be a writing page, and there are some faint lines actually behind that. But I was wondering if we want to put I don't know, like a stencil. I 
I've got these little butterfly stencils. I could put up there. Those might be kind of big. Let's see what else I have. I have these little flowers that we could put down here at the bottom. Oh, hi, Maria. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're just getting started. We're making a spring journal. And what about a little bit of just a little flower stencil down here? Yes. We're a fun group, very interactive. So feel free to jump in at any time, Maria. All right, what do you think? What do you guys think of a little flower stencil just down here at the bottom? And if so, what color shall we use? Shall I use like a tattered rose down there to match the pink over here? Or shall I just do brown and keep it neutral? It is good to have you with us. We love to have new people here. Help me out, you guys. Should we put a little bit of stenciling down here? Or I could do a green and I've got some little ferns. I could just put... Oh, bring the camera down. Absolutely. Let me find my moat. Okay, and then I'll pull this up a little bit. Okay, so here's... I'm thinking that maybe in this little corner we might want to have something. I could put... I've got flower stickers. I've got flower fussy cuts. We could put a little something here. Um, I could do a butterfly. Or should we just leave it as a writing page with nothing? I like to put something on it. I was thinking either... like this little fern coming out of the corner. Something lacy. Okay, let me go get to my stencil box. Hang on, because I have some doily stencils. So I'm gonna bring over my whole stencil box. So, Maria, this is how we roll. We all give input into these journals, and then it becomes a group project. This is kind of lacy looking. Let me find my other ones. Ooh, there's a lacy floral. There's the one I was looking for. I've got that, and it comes out looking like that. Let's see what else I've got in here. Got that one. I've got a damask. Also got that one. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. These are all from a giveaway. Woohoo! Hey, Dusty! Say hi to Maria. She's new. And I'm just looking for some... Oh, there's one that's just a corner piece. Maybe that or this one. Okay, that's enough to pick from. 
Should we just put something in the corner or were you thinking over like the whole page? I want to leave this a writing page, but I really like that. I could put it here and here and I could kind of do them opposites. I really like that because that is very lacy. Yeah, I want to leave most of the space for... So should I use a color or should I just use stencils the brown? You know, vintage photo. What do you think? Vintage photo would be consistent. Hey, Cheryl. What do you think? The brown? Yeah, I think it would. And we can use other colors if we want to in other places, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Oh, that's coming out really dark. I forgot that I had put black on this one. That's all right. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now, should I put one more up here and do like both opposite corners? I think so. Because you know how I like my symmetry. <laughs> Big Mama, I'm regressing. Ah, oh, there we go. I like that page. And then it'll be inked around the edges. Thanks, Maria. I think so, too. And I'm not going to use that anymore. Okay. So I think that page is good just the way it is. Now, let's look at this page. I might want to put some lace up at the top, but does it need any stenciling or... I don't really think so. I think maybe just some lace on this one. All right. What I could do here is tear out a piece of coffee dyed paper and glue to make that a writing space. But before I do that, let's decide what do we want to do with What do we want to do with these two pages? Probably need something on it. And I've got some, some things. Oh, I had, where did it go? Hey, Lori B, you've been missing. No, Dusty, it's got a little ways to go. Now that's too short to go in there. Hmm. <laughs> Lori B and Marie. Uh, Maria, you'll get to know everybody. So we've got Maria. She's new. So I could do that with a tuck spot and I could do some light stenciling behind it. But I think it needs a bigger tag if we're going to use that as a tuck spot. I think that one's too small. Oh, I have this too. Can't forget to use that. Or... I have some rice paper from my dear friend Cheryl, Miss Crafty Shamrock. Hi, Marty. <laughs> I 
Well, I'm glad you're here today. What about that on that page, just as a decorative? Just to be a decorative page. What do you guys think about that? That's definitely an option. Oh, here's a bunch of butterflies. There's some pretty lacy, and we could put some something over that. This is a winter scene. Don't want that. Here are some flowers. Oh, we could cut out some of these little flowers and put like in the corners of the pages. Here's that one. Oh, that's pretty too. And that's pretty too. Oh, too many pretty ones. Hang on, let me get out all the ones I think could work and then we'll pick something to go on this page. No steampunk. I think I already used some of that one. Okay, let me... Oh, good, Maria. Yeah, the recordings are fun, but it's more fun when you get to be here and vote. And um... All right, so what I'm thinking is something now we could also do it on this page and let the music show through just a little bit like something like that and then it would kind of have music behind it and then this could be a writing page what do you think about that hey pam what do you guys think about this You guys like? <laughs> Everybody's busy saying good morning, which is fine. Oh, I'm at 8.30 every morning. Oh, every, the third Friday of every month we were going to go later. Yep, Dusty likes it. I've also got this brighter one that would show the, ooh, maybe I like that one even better, that would show the music through even more. And then you could write over this. Yeah, I saw that where you said, do you see what's wrong? I think I like this one even better, you guys. I'm just going to move forward. I'm not hearing a whole lot of input, and everybody's busy saying good morning, which is fine. So I'm going to, if anybody doesn't like this idea, please holler now. Yeah, I like the lighter one, too. And I think I'm going to put... Let me... Uh, Cut the edges off this. Actually, I need to cut. I need to cut this one off. Do you see what I'm using here, Cheryl? This is some of your stuff. All right, so there's that. We can cover that page. Now, I can tear it along here so that we would be able to see the rest of the music paper through. I know, I love it too. 
I need to cut the top and bottom off though. Do you think I should tear it down the side or just cover the entire page with this? What do you guys think? I love the torn. You're so sweet. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see the garden journal. You know, I say rip it, tear it. Okay, got a couple people saying tear it. So tear it it is. And let's see, where do I want to tear it? So I'm going to put it in the corner up here. And it's not going to go all the way into the corner. It's going to have a little edge around it, but that's fine. Or I could go this way. Nope, I like it. Trying to figure out which way is going to be the best. I think this way. And then tear it right down here. And I'm going to um, get out a water brush. Oh, it even still has water in it. Imagine that. Huh. But the water doesn't want to come out. Well, that's okay. We'll just dip it in some water then. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't forget thumbs up. Okay. Oh, this has got like some Wink of Stella in it or something. It's got something shiny mica in it. That's all right. Okay. All right, let's... not where it was. It was right here. How about like like that or should I cut off more here? I kind of like it. That's an odd shape and here's where it actually I probably need to cut a little bit more off. Huh. Just embrace the caffeine. Let's cut this little bit off here because it's going too far. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> I like odd. I know. There we go. And it's just a little bit of the music showing through. Not a lot because it's going to fold right there. Is that enough or should I cut more off? I like this because it gives a writing spot in here. Should we put that down? Can you move? Oh! Absolutely. I'm zoomed in a little, so. Bring the camera out just. Out one. There we go. 
Yeah, and that's very springy, isn't it? Um, so should I use my matte gel or should I use a glue stick? I'm going to try a glue stick because I don't want to. <laughs> okay, let me get my. I might put a little matte medium over the top of this just for the texture. I don't want to mess with it for putting it down. This glue got a little sticky. I let it um, sit out overnight without the cap on it, so I had to spray it with a little water, and I think it needs a little more. Because this is how I rehydrate my glue sticks. I just spray a little water on them. I put the cap on them and let them sit for a little bit. All right. The ADD OCD squad. <laughs> All right. I would love it if we could completely finish one signature today. There it is. It's a little, a little bit off kilter, but it's all right. I like that torn edge. Isn't that pretty for a writing page? Does it need anything else on it? Does it need a little stamping here at the bottom? Um, I don't know, maybe a little lace. Perfectly imperfect. I know. I'm with you on that. All right, so there's that page. Does it need anything else? Maybe a little tab with a charm hanging off of it might be nice. You like the way it is now? Okay, so next question for the group. Should this be a just a writing page? Should we just leave it, maybe put some stenciling or a stamp on it? Or should it um, have like a pocket or something else on it? We've got a lot of, you know, pockets and stuff in here. We don't have anything. We'll put something on this page for sure. And I have an idea for that. Thanks, Pam. I know. I know. I decorate to the hilt. Um, but then I see other journals that aren't. I need right my writing space. Okay, well, we can leave that. We can always come back if we think it needs more. Now, on this page, what I'd like to do here is maybe glue this down as a pocket. What do you guys think about that? And then we can stick something in there. And then we don't really have to do anything with that book page other than um, put something in the pocket. What do you guys think about that? Um, hang on. Let me get this inked up. Why not put something like a bird of flower over the rice paper? I can do that. I can definitely do that. Whoops. 
We'll go back to that rice paper in a minute. Hey, Susan. Oh, splatters. Yes. See, I always forget about that. You guys have to remind me. Yeah, you do spend a lot of time on your papers, um, Glory B. I know that. That's going to go down as a pocket. Okay, what about gluing this down as a pocket on this page? April, April. Okay. I think I'm going to put that down as a pocket. And then we can stencil something here, or we can... I don't know, put down... And I am going to, yeah, I will. I will, um, Mimi, I just want to uh, get this down. Um, this pocket, it gets glued on just like this. Then this is the other side of it. Um, it glues down just like this. And then I have some really big cards. Maybe not that one. We can put a big tag in it. Oops. <laughs> And then that goes like that. I love this saying. If you find yourself in the wrong story, write a new one. Okay, let's go back to this other page. That So um, Mimi was saying maybe we should put a bird on here. What do you guys think? Let me find my birds. Um... Hmm. Oh, there they are. I moved them. All right, let's look at our birds and see what we have here. I think it needs to be facing the flower. You guys tell me if you disagree. I don't know if I have a lot that are facing that way. That's pretty on there. It's real light. It blends in, but it's pretty. What do you guys think about that? I was trying to find a branch for him to hang off of. Maybe, I don't know, right there. And butterflies. Okay. I really like that. And I think if we inked him up, he would stand out more. <laughs> Let's give him a nice. Well, hi, Julie. Julie, I had so many nice comments. From your viewers. They're just such lovely, sweet people. And I had a bunch of new 
subscribers. So I'm assuming that comes from your viewers. Um, Let's see if I can find a, there's a duck, I kind of like that. Yes, we're very happy you're back with us. You're always welcome. Sometimes we don't see people for a little while and then they show up and we get so excited because they're back. Oh, that's pretty. We could put that there. It's facing the wrong way, but it's coming like out of the flower. No duck. Okay. What do you think about this one? Yes, we do have similar styles, Julie, and I so appreciate you mentioning me. That was, um, unexpected, but very welcome. Yes, Marty. Lori B. wants the first bird. Okay. Okay. So I've got either this one. Or this one. I don't know where we want to put this, but... All right. There's two birds. Let's see what else I might have in here. I got to get to doing some more fussy cutting. Oh, look at this guy. He's pretty, and there's a little bit of blue in here. And then that still leaves all that for writing space. If you guys. Hey, Nydia. Okay, I have Lori and Big Mama want the first bird, which is this one. Do you guys all agree? All right. They're all my birds. That would fit on here anyway. Have this little guy too. Yes, Marty is one of our regulars. All right, what do we need to have under him? Do we need I have an idea. Hang tight. How about Tilt, tilt, tilt. Okay. Tilt him which way? Right or left?
like that. And do you guys like the doily behind it? I'm trying to figure out which way to tilt him, Lori B. Like that. No doily. Yeah, I agree. Tilt him like that. <laughs> no doily, no doily. Okay. Um, tilt him like that. And then does he need to go up or down? He needs to get away from that. Like he is smelling the flower. Yep. Just like that, Lori B, you were yelling at me. Oh, your first Etsy sale. Lori B, Yay! I don't want Lori B upset with me because I didn't have him tilted and we didn't want him to look like he was going to fall over. That wasn't good. Hang on a second. I didn't want to pick him up. I know you were. I could tell. And I didn't want to be responsible for that brink of madness. I didn't want to tip you over the edge. I didn't want your husband coming looking for me. Because he had to commit his wife to an institution because she went mad. All right. Pretty little bird. I need to cut out a bunch more birds. All right. Anything else on this page? I love that idea. And the pink goes so perfect. And the darker um, gray works here. It just is a perfect bird for that page. There's a... <laughs> while getting dressed. All right. So there we go. Is that page done now, um, Mimi? That was your idea to add the bird. Is it done? Done. Okay. This page is for writing. We haven't decided. I think it's going to need a little stenciling or a sticker or, um, I don't know, maybe just something like that. And maybe it's not, doesn't have to be a tuck spot. It could just be something little on the page. Dusted and done. Done, done, done. I think there's something that needs to go on this page, but we'll come back to it. All right. So now we have this one and we put this in here. What do we do on this? I can put, um, I can use this fabric that is the same as the inside of the, and actually it goes nice with that. 
and then we can just put something on there. What do you guys think about this fabric on there? Use it up. Yeah, I agree. Stenciling or a cluster on that other page. We'll come back to it. Um, what about this? Never ever not tilt a burn because they fall over. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Lordy. You guys are so much fun. Hey, don't forget thumbs up if you haven't yet. I haven't done mine. There we go. All right. Use it up. Do you like this piece of fabric? I can fray it a little on the edges. Yes to the fabric strip. Okay, I'm going to... Give it a little bit of fraying. Maybe even... This isn't going to like make it frayed like Big Mama likes, but it will take out a few of the strings. There we go. Thank you guys for speaking up. I liked the fabric strip. And then we'll find something fun to put on it. I love when we get down to the part in the journal where we're doing these little... And it's not even completely straight, but that's okay. I think let's cut it right here. You're a frayed believer. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, if you don't tilt me, I'll fall. Isn't that what Lori V said? If you don't tilt them, they'll fall. All right, I'm just going to put that down like that, and then we'll stick something on top of it. I love how the blue matches the blue over here. Afraid of anything. No, I really am not. It's only paper and fabric. It's like, what's the worst that can happen? If I could give one piece of advice, like I'm some kind of master, but if I could give one piece of advice to people who are new at all of this, I would say don't be afraid to try things. Now, if you have a piece of ephemera that you just absolutely love and you want to wait until you're a little um, more experienced to try to use it so you don't, you know, screw it up, I think that's fine if you want to get a little more under your belt before you do that. But, ah, uh, stop that. Um, as far as paper, regular paper and stuff, it is just paper. This is just a scrap of fabric. And if I screw up this envelope, I'll just take it out and put a different one in. It's not... I don't know. In all my infinite wisdom, that's what I would tell newbies who are coming into this craft. Is don't be afraid. Just do it. Try it. All right. What shall we put over here? Um, hmm. 
Let's think about go over there. What about some long greenery? Because I think there's green in here and I don't know how long. It's two of the same thing. I don't know if it's enough contrast. Hey, Stacy. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? It's the same sticker twice, but it doesn't necessarily look like the same sticker. Yes, Stacy May. What do you guys think of that? The too subtle. I kind of like it. We could maybe put a butterfly up here. All right, you guys, give me some input, please. What do you guys think? I like it because it's just kind of wispy, like if I like it, do it. Got that one too. Hang on, let's see if I have another one of those. Without adding anything, you think just the just the fabric? I can do that. I can do just the fabric. Now, we do need to put something, stencil or cluster or something, and because this has got the greenery over here, maybe this would be a good place to use. Hang on, I'm getting stuff all mixed up here. Let me put my birds away. A dark butterfly. I know, and I can't find my gold watercolors that I bought. Um, they're packed away somewhere. But I can always come back at the very end and do that. The only thing is, if I put like a dark butterfly up here, it's too close to that one. And if I put it down here, I think it looks funny. I'm going to hold off for just a minute on that. I get what you're saying, but... I'm just not sure. Cool goes with everything. I know. We'll we'll um I was looking for something specific and I don't see it. Um hang on. Diamond play. I'll, before we finish this up, I'll look around and find. All right. What I was looking for, and I'm not seeing it handy, um, was a little piece of twine or another piece of sari silk that I could kind of tie this here. because I think it just looks kind of plain and I think it needs to have a little something something up here that was for you Mike something something these are the threads that I pulled out of that other fabric 
this um, blue fabric. I just pulled out some threads. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Or maybe not the bow. The bow looks a little cheesy. Maybe we just do a knot there and let them hang down. Maybe not that far, but I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I like it. There. I just think it gives it a little more. And actually, I don't like those sticking way down there. All right. I like that better. All right. Let's see. Uh-oh. I know. I have to search for them. Glitter. No way. Paula's not here. Paula hasn't been here in a long time. No, 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 no glitter. All right, what shall we do in this corner? Shall we keep with that one stencil that we used up here to kind of keep it consistent whenever we put stencils on a page? Or should I look for, um, well, actually, hang on a second. I've got, like, what about that in the corner? That might be a little too big, but what about just a piece of greenery to go with this? Do you guys like that? Everybody loves your accent, Mike. Oh, that one's better. What do you think about that? Just going up the page there, and then that's a little bit of decoration on that page. I'm going to start fussy cutting it. If we don't use it, we don't use it. But you guys tell me what you think, please. Maria, are you still here, dear? You like it? Oh, good, Maria. I just want to make sure you were... Are you having fun? We care about our new viewers. Once you once you get to be an old hand here, we just treat you like you're an old family relative. But when you're brand new, we like to make sure everything's going well. So I guess basically what I'm saying is that, oh, yes, you're having fun. Good. Um, when you're new, we treat you really nice. And then once you've been here a while, all bets are off. You get to get all the teasing and ribbing and all that, just like everybody else. So, Maria, um, <clears throat> KK. We think you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can yell gold splatters anytime. Um where are you in the UK, Maria, or the US or another country? We have quite the international group going here. We've got Luis who is from Chile. 
and we've got then Mike is in the UK and um, of course Julie's in the UK too. Oh, you are in the US. Whereabouts? Um, what state are you in, dear? Oh, Dusty's in Canada. Okay. So there's more international. I was going to say we've, we've had some people from Canada. <laughs> Independent country. Oh, in, uh, in L.A. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, Washington, Oregon, or California? You know, I'm from Washington State originally. I was born in Seattle. Little known fact. You guys should write down some of these little known facts about me. Because one day, I may just take art before breakfast and do a giveaway and ask some of these facts. And if people can guess them, then they'll get a giveaway. That actually sounds like fun. So make note, I was born in Seattle, Washington. Another fact that I've given out, my father was in the military, so I grew up as an army brat. Were you really, Big Mama? I had family in Moses Lake, Washington. That's a pretty, pretty place. You know, the, the east side of the state is so, so very different from the Seattle area. The coast, well, it's not really coastal. Um, the Inland Empire. Um, it's just so different over in that area. Okay, I like this better. I like to cut out some of the... Oh, Puyallup. I, <clears throat> when my dad was stationed at Fort Lewis, I'll tell you a story about Puyallup. I like that there. I didn't go in with a craft knife and get all that other white out, but this will be okay. When my dad was stationed at Fort Lewis, um, when school started, the state fair was going on, which was held in Puyallup. And we used to get a day off from school. I don't know if they still do this. Probably not with all the other stuff going on in schools. But <clears throat> we used to get a day off of school. And the school buses would take us to the fair. And we would have all day at the fair to just play and do rides. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I remember, well, it could be because daylight savings time was over too but it was dark when we left so we got to do some of the rides in the dark and the games and stuff but that's my fond memory of Puyallup fond fond memory all those days we used to go to the fair. Oh yes, please don't do any resting, long-term resting. We need you here. I cut this sticker out and now it's all, as they would say in the UK, it's all fiddly. I love that term when I first heard it. I thought it was so cool. All right. So there we go with that. And what did I do with my, there it is. Let me see, get some of this. 
and I got a little extra glue down there. I'll take my glue eraser in there in a bit. D River. <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't been back to Washington State in years, and especially not, I haven't been to Seattle in years, and it would, it would pain me to go now with all of the homeless, you know, downtown and all the drugs out on the street, and from what I've heard, it's pretty rough, the defecation in the streets, and, um, I don't know. I just, it would break my heart. Absolutely. You can have a bathroom pass. All right. There we go. A writing page. And we've just got a little sticker on there. How are we doing on time? 106. We got time. Oh, I'm going to go back to this page again. Did we want to put a butterfly on here? Page looks good. Okay, we'll just leave it as it is. All right, this page looks good. All right, now we've got what I'd like to do on this page, and I gotta take out, gotta take it out here. What I'd like to do on this page is put some, let's see, where did I stick that? Some tracing paper. Got a pad of it up here somewhere. Oh. There it is. I got this idea from Big Mama. And I love it. So I am going to tear this off. See, my desk is starting to look like it used to look before I cleaned it all up. Once I'm done with this project, I'll be able to put all this stuff away. And it will get all cleaned up again. But for now, where's my... Oh, let's just do it this way. There we go. So won't that be pretty for writing on? Wonky chocolates. Ooh, I want some wonky chocolates. I know, I've tried that before. You should see how many boxes I have littered around my room. down a little bit more. That method isn't working for me, Dusty. I know. I love it. And look how pretty that is on that page.
I don't even think I'm going to ink the edges on that. What do you guys think? Because the background is very white and I don't, I just don't think we need to. Um, Big Mama, what do you put your um, tracing paper down with? What do you find works the best? I'm going to push this up. I'm going to move it over. What do you use, Big Mama? The glue stick? Okay. This glue stick has gotten really um, sticky. For some things it's fine. I'm going to get a different glue stick that isn't so quite so tacky. I would put the glue on the printed paper, not the tracing paper. Okay. They're not making this anymore. Does anybody use this Scotch Create? And have you found that they are not? They're not making it anymore. I'll do this and then if I need to go and put some more down, I will. Under the edges. Um... A couple of little places, but nothing major. It's lifted. It hasn't come off, but it's lifted in a couple of places. I haven't had Daisy's journal out in a little while. I need to get her out again. Yeah, the art glitter glue I know you cannot get in the winter time. I have a brand new bottle of art glitter glue. I just haven't opened it. I hope it doesn't go bad because I've had it for quite a while. I was just trying to use up my Aileen's Tacky Glue first and I've still got a whole bunch of that left. Oh, I like that because it really sort of blends in. It's almost like it just puts a... Um, like going over it with gesso just fades that pattern to the background but you could definitely write on that hey Bonnie all right so there's that A little bit bulky because of that belly band, but it works. All right, now on this page, I 
I could put a piece of, um, oh, you know what else we haven't used again since we used it first thing this morning. Um, how about... And this will have the book text underneath it. We could just put another decorative page right there. What do you guys... Although I don't want to use up all the good decorative pages on just this one signature because we've got two more to go. Um, hmm. All right, help me out, ladies. I'm kind of at a loss. What shall we put on this page? I've got... I've got this bag with these little kids on it. guys like that? They look like springtime, don't they? Oh, some collaging. I never thought of that. Oh, you know what else I have that I thought we could use? Hang on. Maybe I sold it all. I had some little yellow fabric. And I was thinking, you know what? I bought two of these at Two of these at the Dollar Tree, and they're really good for scraping. And then I never unpacked them. I had a piece of yellow fabric that had little dragonflies on it, and I had it in one of my sales recently. And I thought there was a piece that didn't sell, and I was thinking of making a fabric clip out of it, but. about something like this on here. Probably doesn't go with that, with this. Let's see what else we have. That's a pretty napkin though. That's a cool napkin. We could put it just right in the middle of the page. That's a really cool napkin. And it goes with this. What do you guys think about that? All right, you guys, give me some input. You like it? That is an awesome napkin. I love it. So let's do that on this page. And we'll just cover up kind of the middle and we'll leave the um, book text around it. Do 
Do I have something a little more spring? I do. I thought the birds were springy, but yeah, let's, I have all kinds of stuff in here. Um, let me see. I have that. That kind of goes with that. I have got... I've got a bunch. I'm just looking for ones that would match. Ooh, I've got this gray one. Then we could put like a pocket. Oh, like a like a horizontal belly band. Look at that page. That's really a pretty. Um, yes, we could do that. We could absolutely do a horizontal belly band. I'm just looking through these piles of napkins I have here. I have that one with little birds on it. A peaser so she doesn't go all big mama on me. Well, I'm trying. I've got this one. That's kind of pretty. Matches the pinks. Okay, that's enough to choose from. Let's pick one of these. Okay, it's voting time, ladies. We're going to make a belly band going across, as Big Mama suggested. Yeah, I know. I do like the gray one. All right, so here's our choices. A. Oh, I know. We're just teasing you, Big Mama. We're just teasing you. We love your input. All right, here's A. Here's B with the little birds, and we just like take that section right there. Here's C. We might not get enough of the, well, I guess we could get flowers there. Let's see. And then we had D, which was the birdhouse. So A, B, C, or D. Oh, okay. Let's see, A, B, C, and D. So I have one vote for C. Maria likes C. Dusty likes D. Big Mama wants B. So nobody so far has voted A. I'm going to take it out of the mix. Now, we could do the gray one and put, like, some birds on it, or I don't even know what I did with it now. Hang on. So let's replace... D with added flowers. I got a lot for the D. Yes, a belly band across. And so if we did this, we would just get, we wouldn't get the whole thing. We would just get those two rows of birds. This might be better for another page where we could put the whole thing on it. I'm going to pull this out. I know a lot of people wanted it, but... Um, Here's the gray one, and we could put, you know, some birds. Oh, I have um, some rice paper butterflies that I could tear out. And, or these, and put down on top of. See the flowers? Okay.
Yeah, we'd have to put the whole house down if it was D. It couldn't be a belly band, but we can do that on another page. Um, I like the idea of like covering this up right here and then having the text on either side. So I, I swapped it out. Gray is now A. The opposite page is that gray one that I just put the uh, tracing paper on. And see how pretty that is there. G. Marty, there is no G. How about, what do you guys think of putting down the gray and then taking one or two of these butterflies out and putting on the belly band? What do you guys think of that? I kind of like that idea. And I think I've got some... Let's do it. Okay, I'm with you. I got this piece of file folded. Oh, is this wide enough? That is just wide enough. I love it when I can find a piece of scrap to use. Let's see. We're going to put it... There. Check it out there. Okay. So this is going to go there, and this is going to go here as a belly band, and then we can poke something down inside. She asks, then she ignores your suggestion. What was your suggestion, Marty? You said G, and there is no G. <laughs> there is no G. I can't give you something that doesn't exist. You're funny. Poor Marty. But we still love you. Let's put it right. O oh, G. There is only A. I know. Well, you guys know most of the time I take your suggestions. Every once in a while. I just feel strongly about something. Doesn't happen all that often, but it does happen. Okay, let's see what part of this. That's really pretty. All right. Um, I am going to cut this because it's the edges. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll see if it'll tear. I don't know if it'll tear easily because it's still wet. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. All right. So it is 1.30. I'm going to leave this to dry. And then I'm going to 
you know, cut it. Oh, there's my scissors. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to put some matte medium over the top of it just because it's napkin and I don't want it to tear. And then when we come back, today's Wednesday, so I won't see you again till Friday. Um, we'll come back and put some butterflies on that and finish up this signature. And then we'll move on to the second signature and then the third and get this journal finished up. All right, everybody, put Brad's on the corners. Okay, I'll put them on before I glue it down. Um, all right, everybody, I'm going to call it a video. If you haven't yet, please, oh, isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that goes in there. Isn't that just pretty? And yes, I will put brads on. Um, we did love having you uh, join in with us, Maria. I hope you come back again. And um, all the new people we got to. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we'll be at Penny Pudge's place. We're always like this. I know we have a fun day. So thumbs up if you haven't. Um, have a wonderful day, you guys. And I will see you on Friday. We'll see you at Penny's tomorrow. And then I'll see you Friday back here. Bye.